Good morning, everybody. John Bergsma here from the Great Lakes Fisherman's Digest. We're on a bucket list experience today. Pym Island Lodge compliments a Hearst Air, Northwest Ontario. I made two casts, dropped a 20, 21 inch walleye. My brother's behind us in a boat, just landed a huge northern, had a bigger one even follow it. Stay tuned, this is a bucket list adventure you're gonna wanna know about. <laughs> this is a better fish. I found them. They're right up by that sticks on shore. Oh. Oh, my brother's got a huge one on too. I don't know what this is. If this is a walleye, it's an oh it's a walleye. This is a nice one. Oh. <laughs> That's when you know you're in Canada, right there at Pym Island. Look at this fish. What a beautiful average size fish. What we'll do too here is talk to you just a little bit. Wow, they are beautiful. So gold and deep. Let me get this off here. You see what we're using here? I got my KVD box with me in Canada because there's so many crayfish up in Canada, you know, these bass baits, we're just popping on a little rage tail right now, uh, right on a little eighth ounce jig. And that crayfish imitating bait, they just cannot refuse it. You just hit the bottom in a slow, slow retrieve, and those little claws just wiggle in the current, boom. What a gorgeous fish. Yeah, this might even be a smallmouth, almost feels like. Nope, nice walleye, nice eater. Perfect for shore lunch. Beautiful fish. Look at the way these fish are taking that. All the way down. That little, that little crayfish imitating plastic is gone. Look at that. Big fish. Oh, I threw right up. See that deadfall in my background? There's a little shelf of sand coming off of it, and I landed this jig right on it. And this fish was on it before I could even lift. I lifted my rod. Wow. If this is a walleye, Norman, this one's coming to you. I have no idea what this is, but this is a big fish. Welcome to the first hour of fishing on our Canadian fly-in adventure. Big, big, big fish ramp. Yeah. 
Wow. <laughs> oh. Well, that's on a little pink walleye jig. <laughs> what a beefy 36, 37 incher. I'd caught a 36 in my life. This one weighs about three or four pounds more. The fish here at Pym are just huge when it comes to the, the beefiness of them. Look at the width on that head. What a gorgeous fish. We're gonna get this fish back in the water, but first hour, just amazing. The Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Crestliner, forged with strength, defined by durability. Strike King Lures, tie one on. Mercury Marine, go boldly. Oh my goodness. I love this place. <laughs> It's like unbelievable, unbelievable fishing. When your wrist is cramping on day one, oh my goodness, this is the biggest walleye around. I've got to be careful here. This is a 10 pounder. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my gosh, you want to see a teeny weeny jig and a great big walleye? <laughs> Look at that tiny little rage craw, slow worked right over top of a gravel bar. 30 inch plus fish. Unbelievable. You know, you can fish just, you can choose to fish anywhere in the world, but there's not many places you can go and catch fish on teeny weeny little jigs, great big jerk baits, and everything in between. And so far today, I mean, we have barely fished. My brother's taking a big northern off right now and releasing it and we're just this is an amazing amazing place where you're able to whatever you like to fish with that's the key here i'm a jig guy i like to feel that bite and set the hook on a fish if you're a twitch baiter if you're a spinner baiter we haven't even put a spinner bait on but i'm going to guarantee you when we put spinner baits on we're going to catch slug northern after slug northern this place is amazing and i love that because of that diversity of fishing you're going to love it Let's go back and get another one. You know, when you come to Pym Island, one of the unique things about this particular circumstance is that the resort and your trip comes with a guide. You don't have to pay the guide extra. The guide comes with it. He's there. And let me tell you what, it's a good thing because this is a massive river system. This thing goes hundreds of miles uh, in one direction and about 125 back in the other direction and it's got all kinds of uh, situations where if you didn't know where you were at you could be driving along in 12 feet of water and literally five seconds later you could be in two feet of water surrounded by Volkswagen sized boulders and wreck everything. So this is one of those places that's really important that you have a guide. That same circumstance is what makes this such an incredible fishery. And, and our guide, I'm telling you what, I don't know what to say. I mean, he's a Native American and he grew up on this river and it was blatantly obvious because we'd be driving along and he'd be going full throttle. All of a sudden he'd cut it down and start putting and swerve over this way. And all of a sudden I'd see all the shallow water and boulders where we were just gonna be and we're in safe water here. The importance of a guide here at Pym Island can't be overstated. This fish is straight down. He's right there. Oh my gosh, that's not a walleye. It can't be a walleye. If that's a walleye, this is the biggest walleye I've ever caught, and I've caught some big ones. <laughs> There's no way this is a walleye. <laughs> 
Well. I, I don't know what to say. There's got to be a northern. Maybe 45. Biggest, biggest northern I've ever physically seen. I mean, it looks like a muskie. It's built like a muskie. Look at the width on this fish. Turn him. Oh my goodness gracious. On. <laughs> That's a monster. <laughs> That's just a flat out monster. My gosh. <laughs> Look at that slug. <laughs> Can you believe this? Anywhere in the world, this is world class. We've been to Pym Island for less than 24 hours. And my brother has a 41 and this is a 45. But I think she's ready right there. Oh my gosh. The Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Offshore Tackle, leaders in trolling technology. Trax Tech, the ultimate fishing system. Wow, did he truck that bait too. Oh, jig is out. Look at this. Beautiful fish. It was just the environment. I realized that I was hundreds of miles north of the closest road. We turn the corner and Norman points out a black bear swimming across the river, no kidding. And we've got it on film and then leaves the water and runs down the shoreline. A little bit later that evening, we're fishing our way back and there's a female moose with two calves. And it's just, there's bald eagles soaring around. It was just so much unusual stuff that you may never see again in your life, all packed in one little place. And it's all in its natural element, in its natural form. To me, part of being at Pym is that whole experience of being where very few other people have been, experiencing scenery and seeing sights that you may never see again. You know, one of the cool things about booking a trip with Hearst Air is that you've got a lot of different variety. You know, Hearst Air runs out of the town of Hearst, but they fly and, and operate eight oh different camps gosh, throughout nice the fish. Northwest Ontario area. And this. what's really unique about right that, that is, is that you can stay with one uh, reputable service and deal with those people year after year and change your physical geographic location and change the type of fishing it is. Whether you're targeting, you know, once in a lifetime brook trout fishing, or whether you're targeting, like we did at Pym Island, monster northerns and just large walleye, better than average Canadian walleyes. Or if you just wanna to go to a smaller lake where catching 100 walleyes a day isn't not only unusual, it's normal. But you don't wanna be on a river system. You wanna be able to navigate your own boat. They've got multiple camps where you can oh. just go. You're in a safe inland lake environment a smaller lake, two, three, four miles. Wow. And you can just go out and enjoy fishing at your own pace you yourself out of the, one of their boats. And that's oh, what I really so like about Hearst so Air is that they offer all those different circumstances, kind of but I don't have to deal with different people. You know, I trust time. Melanie. I trust her to send me to a place. place. When I get there, I trust <laughs> it to be the way she presented it at the show and that I'm gonna be happy and satisfied with my experience. That's what's really important when you're going out with an outfitter. this year here at Napkin. And this has been probably the fastest walleye fishing that I've experienced. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Whoa, <laughs> fish of the day. And that's really what you want when you go on a Canadian experience. 
you want to go to a place where you can be like surrounded by what you see here nature and just beauty and serenity and peacefulness but also that ability for everybody in the group to catch a ton of fish another good one Goodness, strong fish. Oh, that's a nice one. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Right in the top of the mouth. Got him. Just a slow drift back and forth. Nice, nice walleye. That's, that's how easy it is if you really, really pay attention to these structure spots. I mean, another super nice fish. These are really good two-handed fish. Beautiful, you know, that's a 16, 16 and a half incher. Oh, this is a better one too. Yep, good fish. This is feeling like a nice fish. Wow, oh, my goodness, beautiful walleye. Nice fish, amazing. Now this is what Canada is all about right there. I mean, we have literally, I don't know, that's probably fish number 10 today now, and we have found a point that is just loaded with these fish, and we literally now are throwing it in gear and not going, <laughs> not going hardly anywhere, and we're, we're catching fish. Whoa. Oh, ooh, good fish. Good fish, you know what's good when it's staying down. Oh. Hopefully it's a big pike. We put a steel leader on hoping for big pike on this drift. We got gaudy. Oh yeah, big northern, big northern. Oh. There we go. Here at Napkin is that you've got miles, it's 13 miles long and, and a mile, mile and a half wide at points. You've got just miles of this shoreline where if a person isn't a really skilled caster or something and he just wants to have a great time catching fish after fish after fish, spinning rod, this is a quarter ounce jig, a little white rage tail, Simple, simple spinning rod, casting out behind the boat. I'll put it in gear and show you what I'm doing. Casting out behind the boat, a simple cast length, boom, in gear, and you're just driving these shorelines. This is just, again, this is just one of those base presentations. And whenever you come up to a Canadian lake, long line and a jig behind the boat at close throttle, just in gear. You know, this trip, I took with me just a good group of guys, and I think that's one of the things that I wanna talk most to people about. You know, these trips are most enjoyed with a group of guys of like six. Uh, you can come with four, you can come with eight, um, but, but a bigger group of six or eight is always a lot more fun. It shares the load of cooking and washing dishes because there's no dishwashers. There's no, uh, there's no amenities here like that. The dock around you is where we wash our dishes at the end of each meal. And uh, when you come with a big group of guys, you know, you can have guys that are cutting the firewood and getting the fire started and sweeping the cabin and doing all of that type of stuff. Plus, the more boats you put on a big body of water, uh, right here at Napkin, they have four boats, so eight guys is very easy to, to uh, accommodate. The better chance you'll have of figuring out where the fish are at the time you're coming and getting on that bite quickly. Also, you can just spread out and really see a lot of it. You can fish different areas of the lake, 
knowing that somebody else is fishing a different area. You know, I really encourage that camaraderie thing. I'm here with my nephew, my brother, one of uh, my brother's good friends, one of my nephew's good friends, and of course, Chase, the producer, is here with us on this trip. So this six-man group has been great. At night, we're playing euchre, we're laughing, we're playing charades, we're having a good time, we're building a fire, we're sitting by the fire, we're playing Melanie's ukulele that she left, lent us, thanks Mel. And it's just been one of those trips that you will remember for a lifetime. Hey, let me tell you something, guys, to everybody watching this show, I wanna tell you there's guys in this group, myself included, that haven't disconnected from technology in two decades. If you're looking to really change the way you think, part of it is just turning your phone off, getting on a bush plane, flying where there is no cell phone service, there's no internet connection, with a group of guys and having a great time. Thanks for joining us here today. Closed captioning brought to you by Wave Pro. Best ride on the water. Online at waveproshock.com.